Hi guys, this is Nick with Phone Arena and what we have here is the Sony Ericsson Mix Walkman. It is a budget-friendly feature phone aimed at young people who love listening to music but cannot afford to buy something more expensive. It features a 3-inch capacitive touchscreen, a 3.2 megapixel camera and Wi-Fi connectivity. On top of that, it comes with a pair of nice sounding earphones that also double as a wired headset. The phone is made entirely out of plastic so it feels rather cheap. Its physical buttons do not leave a good impression either as they are poorly exposed and provide little to no tactile feedback. At least the home key located under the device's display is big and well exposed. The Mix Walkman is slim enough to fit in almost every pocket and with a weight of only 3.1 ounces it will surely remain pretty much unnoticed in there. However, people with larger hands might find it difficult to use it comfortably because of its dimensions. Looking at the phone's 3-inch scratch-resistant touchscreen display is a pleasure as it delivers precise and saturated colors. The screen boasts a resolution of 240 by 400 pixels, which means that even small text can look sharp and easily legible. Besides that, the display shines bright enough to be used comfortably in broad daylight, and its viewing angles are more than satisfactory. However, even though the display is of the capacitive type, it lacks sensitivity and needs to have your finger firmly against it in order to function properly. That makes even the most basic of tasks such as typing text or scrolling about rather tricky to perform. Even though it's just a feature phone, the Sony Ericsson Mix Walkman offers some options when it comes to customization. Each of these corners on your home screen can be customized with an icon of your choice and that is done by holding your finger over one and then dragging it over the location where you want it to be. All the basic functions, such as sending a text message or dialing a number from your keypad, are easily accessible and pretty straightforward to use. What we found strange, however, was that searching through your contacts did not seem to work and it did not update the results in real time. We found out that the stock browser on the Mix Walkman performed rather poorly as uh, it would not load large web pages and it would often skip images. That's why we installed Opera Mini 6.1, which worked considerably better. Uh, sure, pages loaded somewhat slowly, even though we were uh, using the phone's Wi-Fi radio instead of uh, its edge connectivity, but eventually the pages looked uh, properly rendered and scrolling was smooth enough. The eBuddy client, which comes pre-installed, grabbed our attention as it enables you to use multiple instant messaging platforms simultaneously. A dedicated email application with rather basic functions is also on board, but it requires to be set up manually, even if you are using one of the popular email service providers. Strangely enough, it requires 2G connection to set it up. Nevertheless, you will probably not write emails on a daily basis, as the on-screen keyboard that the Sony Ericsson Mix Walkman packs is really uncomfortable to use. Having no QWERTY keyboard is a punishment and the unresponsive display makes inputting text even uh, more difficult. The Sony Ericsson Mix Walkman offers a basic 3.2 megapixel camera with no flash or autofocus. With specs like that, it is no surprising that it takes poor photos. Even when taken on a bright sunny day, images lack detail and the dynamics range is below average. Watching videos on the Mix Walkman is possible thanks to its support for both the QuickTime and 3GP formats. However, we couldn't get anything sized beyond 320 by 240 pixels to play. The handset also offers a YouTube player, but although it gets the job done for the most part, videos sometimes refuse to play and an error message shows up. Nevertheless, tapping back and then hitting the video link again solves the problem. The Walkman music player can be easily brought up by hitting the dedicated hardware key located on top of the device. In terms of features, the music player has all the basics covered, but it also has a few bells and whistles that are meant to enhance the experience even further. For example, the karaoke mode suppresses uh, some of the vocals so that you can sing along with the music. However, we found out that uh, it uh, doesn't really work particularly well on all songs. Another feature that Sony Ericsson decided to put is the zapping functionality, which lets you preview a uh, song by jumping straight to its chorus. Unfortunately, it simply doesn't work as intended. Besides that, using it regularly seems quite uh, pointless to us. Last but not least, the Track ID application has the cool ability to recognize songs by simply recording a fraction of it and submitting it online for analysis. We tested it out ourselves and sure enough it works like a charm. 
Both the built-in speakers and the earphones produce clear and rich sound, even at the highest volume levels. What is a bit disappointing though is that the volume doesn't seem to go high enough. Another irritating thing that we noticed is that there is a slight amount of hiss during the quiet parts of a song and annoying clicking sounds are audible when tracks change, but these are both problems that a few users would probably pay attention to. Still, this is a music-centric phone and such imperfections could have been avoided. When testing out the in-call audio quality of the Sony Ericsson Mix Walkman, we noticed that the earpiece is sufficiently loud, yet voices sound slightly muffled. On the other side of the line, our voice was accompanied by a fair amount of crackling sounds and background noises. Nevertheless, we think that the average in-call performance is not a deal-breaker. The handset comes with a 1000 mAh battery, which should be good for about 9 hours and 30 minutes of talk time, or 465 hours of standby mode. Both of these are impressive figures, well above the average. Unfortunately, the Mix Walkman is capable of playing music for only 13 hours on a single charge, and although that should be enough to last you through the day, even older Walkman phones can go beyond that milestone. Overall, the Sony Ericsson Mix Walkman has more than a few drawbacks, but its low price makes up for most of them. Currently, the phone can be found for about $120 off contract, which makes it a bargain considering the features that it packs. We were impressed with the beautiful display and the Wi-Fi connectivity is a significant bonus that will definitely come in handy. Most importantly, it handles its primary purpose of being a music-oriented device fairly well. The only thing that we have a hard time overcoming is its unresponsive touchscreen, which is tricky to use and makes typing a cumbersome process, especially with the lack of a QWERTY on-screen keyboard. The poorly exposed hardware buttons should also be taken into account. If you are looking for a cheap phone that can also double as a music player, the Sony Ericsson Mix Walkman would be one of the devices that we would recommend. However, you should also consider some of the alternatives, for example, the Nokia X2 offers similar audio functionality but comes even cheaper. You can also get the Huawei U8150 which comes for about the same price but is a full-fledged smartphone. The Sony Ericsson Elm also falls into that same price category and has a lot to offer for its money. Thank you for watching our video review of the Sony Ericsson Mix Walkman. This was Nick and if you'd like to see some of our other phone reviews or if you'd like to get updated on the latest from the smartphone world, feel free to go to our website phonearena.com. Thank you for watching.